Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto, today with my Ikoka mug. Yesterday I was talking about the yen and how weak the yen is and how it might be a good time to change money over. And that made me think about all these new incoming jets and money. How much money should they bring? Um, when I came on jet, it was a decade ago-ish and... And I think I brought about $3,000 US, which I converted into yen, which the rate was only like 105 yen to the dollar finish, maybe. I can't even remember anymore. It wasn't great. Um, but that was enough. But I knew before I left how much my rent was going to be. And I knew the things I wanted to buy. Um, about $450 was earmarked for a dryer because I, um, I can't live without a dryer. Um, there's just too many people in my family. Um, and the clothes attack us if we don't constantly, like, it's a, it's a laundry battle. Like, laundry is a battle. And if you don't do laundry, you won't survive. <laughs> so, I knew I needed money for a dryer. Um... I also knew that my landlord said I didn't have to pay my rent until after I got paid. And you get paid for the first time in the middle of August, depending on when your payday is for your prefecture. Ours is the middle of August. Um, but yeah, so I knew what kinds of expenses awaited me. Um, I think, though, incoming jets now need a lot more money. I'd say you probably need about $5,000 U.S. And the reason I'm saying this is because this year in particular, like the preceding two years, all of the predecessors, not all of the predecessors, a lot of the predecessors, you'll never meet because they left before. They left before you got here. And um, because those predecessors left before you got here, they had to sell all of their furniture, sell all of their belongings, get rid of all their stuff. So unlike in previous years where the incoming jets even got like mugs and cups and silverware and all kinds of other stuff, they're not going to get anything. They're not going to get any, you know, even like, like a fork. <laughs> I, I can't tell you about all the items I still have in my house that were given to me when I became an ALT that I got from my predecessor because when I left Japan, I didn't leave Japan. So the person who was my successor at that school, I gave them some stuff, um, but I didn't really give them a lot because I was staying here and I didn't need to give it to them. So I kind of know them, but not well, but I knew it was my belongings, but I often wondered how they felt about not getting a lot from their predecessor. And I realize now that these jets don't, in practicality, have any predecessors. So you're going to need more money. You're going to need to go to the 100 yen store after you get here and buy forks and plates and cups um, and pots and pans. And you probably want to get those not at the dollar store. But the forks and, and spoons and plates you can. But, um, yeah, you're going to need to buy just, like, the basic belongings to, like, you know, cook your food. So, you probably, unless your house came with it, um, you'll probably not have a lot of essential appliances. Um, if you're lucky, your Board of Education might cover certain things. When I was in ALT, the Board of Education, I think, covered a washing machine, a fan, a stove I think they made sure there was some sort of cooking stove or fire apparatus I, I think gas based in your apartment because regular apartments don't come with stoves mm, and a heater they give you a heater and I feel like there's one other thing I'm forgetting and I can't remember what it is oh a vacuum cleaner that's what it was those things they made sure that you had um and then you were kind of taken care of, but like, yeah, you won't have, there was one jet I remember coming and the board of education had been to the apartment, but not the supervisor hadn't been to the apartment. And the supervisor went with the ALT that first night 
and there were no curtains on the windows. So in this very small apartment, um, this guy had to like tape towels to the window so that he could change with the lights on because the curtains were wide open. There was no curtains, so the window was wide open to the street. Um, so you might have to go buy curtains. Um, you're going to need a bed to sleep on. I luckily had extra futon that I gave to my successor. So even though I didn't give him a lot of stuff, I was able to pass on some stuff. Um, but yeah, you're going to need blankets and a bed and all that other crap. So yeah, you're probably going to want to bring more money. Probably $5,000 will do you until you get your first paycheck. If you have extra save it. Save it for a trip. Save it for something else. But you're gonna need more money than you used to need in the past. Good luck to everybody. I can't imagine arriving if you don't have a helpful board of education and you don't have a helpful supervisor and they drop you off at your apartment and you've got nothing. At least I hope they take you out to the store that first night and help you buy a futon and some sheets and a hot pot or something so you can make some food um, good luck uh, let me know if you have any questions let me know if you need a recipe or something good to make that first night I'll let you know what I know about but uh, yeah good luck and bring more money five thousand dollars will probably do you and I know that's a lot of money so save now you only got a couple more months all right everybody I will talk with you later have a good morning and enjoy your coffee Man, <sighs> my brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I can at least think. 